Welcome to the DataBear Sales Analysis Demonstration. To find out more about how easy it is to connect this solution to your data, please use the Connect My Data link. We start off with an overview of your business's sales performance by providing quick analysis of monthly trends. For easy consumption, year-to-date totals and variances are displayed on KPI cards. Choose a comparison perspective by using our versus prior or versus budget slicer and see how these compare to actuals. For deeper analysis of a particular trend, you can pop a chart into focus mode. Let's focus on cost of goods sold and the drill down by clicking the arrow in the top right corner. From the chart, we can see that June's costs are greater than the previous year. For deeper analysis, simply click on June to drill down a level. From there, you can choose a path for further analysis. In this instance, our options are Accessories, Accessories Package, Executive Desks or Tilter Chairs. Let's look at Accessories. The costs are now further broken down by location. When scanning the various bars, we notice that the largest accessories costs for June are allocated to the Newark, New Jersey location. We can dig even further into the data by clicking on this location to see a breakdown of the accessory costs. By doing this, it is clear that the biggest cost for June can be attributed to fluorescent desktop lamps. Let's navigate back to the report. Using the other charts, this same analysis process can be performed. By disabling the drill down functionality, we can use cross highlighting to see this product's allocation for June highlighted within the other charts. By hovering over, for example, the sales or gross profit charts, based on the resulting tooltip, we can determine that fluorescent desktop lamps make up more than 50% of the monthly total. On to our next report year-by-year -year analysis. This report allows a quick comparison of yearly performance of monthly trends. To see the individual values for each month, simply hover your mouse over the chart axis. Once again, you could focus on an individual chart and use any drill-down features accordingly. Let's look at our interactive sales overview report. This interactive report allows you to view the data from the perspective of either versus target or versus prior and has been designed to provide a rapid overview of sales performance across months, categories, products and stores. Further value from this report can be found in the ability to, through cross-highlighting, isolate values attributed to a particular dimension and see the representation thereof within the other charts. For example, from the Categories chart, it is apparent that for the year 2014, Accessories was the top performing category. To rapidly obtain further insight as to which products and locations this performance can be attributed to, we simply activate the chart's drill down and click on the Accessories category. Let's now deactivate the drill down and select the top performing product, Fluorescent Desk Lamps. Scanning the top chart, Sales by Month, we can see the top and bottom performing months for 2014. The chart also allows us to compare this product's performance to that of the previous year. From the item location chart, we can see the distribution of our top selling product across store locations. From the KPI cards above, we notice that, even though this is the top selling product for 2014, when compared to the previous year's performance, it achieved negative growth. Similar to the previous report, our Sales Trends report offers the ability to analyse sales across categories, products and stores from a monthly, weekly and daily perspective. Use slicers to select a year, month or week and the relevant charts respond accordingly. This report answers questions like how's our monthly, weekly and daily sales performance and how do these compare to the same time last year. Use the weekly chart to analyse sales and see how they compare to previous weeks within the same month. Simultaneously, you can reference the corresponding daily breakdown in the adjacent Sales by Weekday chart. If you are interested in visualising sales growth as compared to the same time last year, our Sales Growth Report offers an overview of sales metrics and the resulting sales growth across a variety of dimensions. 
Let's take a look at the scatter chart representing sales growth by salesperson for 2014. The bubbles situated within the top right quadrant of the chart indicate both high sales volume and growth from the previous year. We hover over the blue bubble representing Bill. Notice the tooltips. With 109% growth and over 2.4 million in sales, Bill is a leader in both sales and sales growth. Featuring in the bottom left quadrant, Rhonda, with both low sales and sales growth, is on the other end of the spectrum. If we click on Rhonda, we notice that she has only been selling a handful of products to one customer across two locations. When we isolate Bill, the data tells a different story. If you find value in analysing the relationship between measures, our Sales by Measure report allows for selecting a year to compare the monthly trends of any selection of two measures. For example, see the relationship between cost and quantity, or that of sales and gross profit. Our ABC reports place the sales percentages of dimensions into three buckets. The top 70%, the next 20% and the remaining 10% are allocated to buckets A, B or C accordingly. This allows you to easily see which products or customers encompass, for example, 70% or 10% of your business. Although for different reasons, analysing each of these buckets can help you drive your business further. Using our custom slicer, view these reports from the perspective of either versus target or versus prior. Let's look at our top 10 reports. Select a year, quarter and perspective for analysis and see the resulting growth status, average sales and number of orders attributed to the top 10. The dash lines represent the min and max sales values for the selected period. When it's time for analysing the details of various sales metrics from a variety of perspectives and angles, our analysis by product and analysis by customer reports offer features which allow for selecting a desired period and isolating specific details for interrogation across months. Search by product code and see the resulting KPIs and key metrics for that particular product. Similarly, you could choose to filter the report by a permutation of locations, categories or salespeople. Depending on the report, the results can be seen from the perspective of by product or by customer within the defined period. Over to our Salesperson Overview Report. Once again, this report has been designed for harnessing chart drill-down functionality in combination with cross-highlighting. Choose a salesperson, store or a month for isolation and visualise the data accordingly. If you are interested in analysing which salespeople have been selling a particular product for the selected period, simply go to the next level of the chart hierarchy. Select the product category and then, with the drill down deactivated, select the particular product in question. The sales by salesperson chart will then reflect this data accordingly. Similar to our salesperson overview report, our customer overview report allows you to interrogate the data with comparable functionality and from a variety of angles. These reports have been designed with features which empower you to ask specific business questions to fulfill your unique data storytelling needs. Our free custom apps allow you to rapidly connect your ERP data to our range of Power BI solutions, schedule updates, share important information or customise the outputs to suit your specific BI requirements. Visit databear.com to find out more about how we can turn your reporting dreams into a reality. Your data, our story.